Some churches have cute little bats in the belfry. Some houses have pesky old bats in the wall. Some people have bats as pets, and yet some people don't like bats at all. But most people today say that bats are okay. Well, they don't know all that they might. Because I've got bats in my basement, and they're big, and they're bad, and they bite. And every night, they all take flight. The fluttering sight of it makes me swoon. They flap and fly and fill the sky like giant kites against the moon. They ride the winds to who knows where and who knows what they do. But know that you had best beware their airborne rendezvous because these bats aren't friendly or polite. No, they're big and they're bad and they bite. Now, the bats go back down before daybreak and they bide in the basement all day. Wondering what they do down there has bothered me some, I must say. So I went on down. And I took a look around, and I didn't see any bats. But I found some big mahogany caskets partially buried in the ground. And I wondered, what could be in them? I suppose it couldn't hurt. I don't see anyone looking. I'll just brush aside the dirt, lift up the lid, and open it wide and see what's inside. And it wasn't a bat at all, you know. It looked just like a man. Except he didn't look too handsome. He didn't have much of a tan. I thought he was dead. But he suddenly said, Good evening, and popped open his eyes with a bright red glare, a powerful stare. I was caught, I was hypnotized, and then he kissed me. Mm, something like that. No, more like a bite, yes? More like a bat. Now, I sleep all day in a coffin. Now I fly at the moon every night because now I am a bat in my basement and I'm big and I'm bad and I bite.